First of all, uh, could you tell us something about the idea and the strategy on which uh, uh, the, port of the portfolio that you manage uh, uh, is based? So the portfolio is based on two main features. So we are seeking to add value uh, at both the country selection level, so choosing the right countries to invest, and then the second pillar of the value add is the stock selection. So we won't be in the right uh, stocks within those countries. So the way we mostly pick countries is quite an interesting one. We are looking for an over-allocation to all the small, less liquid countries. So if you were to look at what was the performance over the last 15 years of all the emerging market countries, the best performing market is Colombia, followed by Peru and then Philippines. All these small countries have been having a very good, very good performance over the years. And if you were to look at on the other uh, end of the spectrum, the ones which haven't performed that well, are the big ones, the China, Taiwan, because they are used mostly as liquidity proxy from micro hedge funds to get in and out of the asset class. So this uh, extra volatility is not rewarded by a price appreciation. So how do you select the companies uh, to invest in? So once we've identified the countries we want to overweight and the ones we want to underweight, uh, we look at the set of uh, companies and we Uh, we have an investment which is primarily based on valuation. So we are looking uh, into buying some uh, cheap companies and cheap on earnings basis, have a very good dividend yield, a strong return on equity, things that make sense from an investor standpoint. So this is uh, the anchor for the investment. Uh, uh, alongside with this valuation uh, aspect, we also uh, look at how many uh, revisions uh, the analyst community has made on those stocks. So we want to buy into stocks which have positive sentiments as opposed to the ones which have negative one. Uh, and finally, we also look at the volatility. We don't want to be buying stocks which have high volatility. So everything else being equal, a lower volatility is better than the higher volatility. So all this combined, uh, we are looking for cheap companies with momentum in earnings and with a low volatility. Uh, generally speaking, uh, which are, in uh, your opinion, the most uh, interesting uh, emerging markets and why? So one of the most interesting ones that we've, we've had in the portfolio for a number of years is the uh, Philippines. So this is a, a small country in the Southeast Asia and uh, it has a very strong diaspora just uh, all across the world. And this diaspora is mainly sitting in the high growth area in the world, so the remittances are extremely strong and a very large contributor to the overall GDP of the country. So this is one large contribution which has actually has been growing over the years. And the second aspect is the domestic economy is actually fairly strong. Domestic demand is picking up, uh, the disposable income is also going up. So all these are perfect combinations from both a macro and a micro standpoint uh, to make a strong case for investing in the country. Thank you for your time and for your uh, suggestions. Thank you.